How you guys doing today? Uh, my name is Richard and uh, today I wanted to share with you all a quick review of the uh, newest addition to my ukulele family. Um, so this is a Harmonia uh, pear-shaped baritone ukulele. Uh, some of you out there you may recognize this instrument. Um, if any of you have been on eBay recently uh, you might have stumbled across it um, and when you saw it for the first time you might have had the same reaction that I did. Um, number one, it looks the part. Uh, she's definitely a looker, uh, eye-catching design. Um, but number two, that insanely cheap asking price uh, is making me reconsider those thoughts. Um, I've been battling in my head for about three or four weeks on whether or not I wanted to pull the trigger and uh, take the risk on this per uh, particular instrument. Um, until another auction came about and uh, I decided that I was going to put in a really low ball offer and uh, probably get rejected and laughed at immediately, but uh, <clears throat> they accepted it. So uh, I'm happy that they did. Um, and I knew when I got it, I wanted to do this review for you guys because there's there's really not a lot of information on the internet. Um, uh, there was a gentleman who, who did a review on YouTube a little while back, a couple years ago, he did a really good job. But other than him, there's there's there, there's not a lot of information, and I felt like there might be a lot of there are quite a few of you out there that are looking for a affordable um, entry level baritone uke. And if you've seen this before, you might have some questions, and hopefully, I can answer those for you. So um, I've had it now for about four or five days and i'll say this um there is some good and there's some not so good um to this particular instrument um, i'll start with the good um the good really number one is looks um you know it's again it's an eye catcher um mahogany top back and side laminate um abs binding nice uh laminate mahogany veneer on the headstock i mean it's got the nice F holes, you know, it catches your eye. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I like unique, uh, unique looking instruments. And uh, when I saw it for the first time, I thought it looked really cool. Um, uh, but again, that price was, uh, was making me think, uh, think otherwise. Um, I won't say how much I, I, I spent, but I will tell you this, that if you can find the same uh, seller on eBay, um, you can easily get this thing for um, seventy dollars, uh, and that's with shipping included. So it's it's a very affordable entry level baritone. Um, there's really only a couple makers out there um, that make entry uh, entry level baritones. Um, your your Rogues or your Savannas, you know there you can get those for you know thirty, forty, fifty bucks. Um, but they're built like a tank. Um, they just don't they just don't feel comfortable in the hand and they're just not fun to play and I knew I didn't want to go that route so when I saw this one I knew this might be a, a affordable option to them so and overall I, I will say that it is um, the not so good um, we'll start with the top so you might be able to tell there um, the tuners aren't 100% straight now uh, but when I got this thing in the mail three of them were like this um, so I had to unscrew them straighten them out rescrew them not a big deal but um, just be prepared you may have to do the same the strings are crap stock strings are, are, are crap get rid of them immediately um, the scale length on this is roughly two frets longer than a tenor ukulele and one fret shorter than a standard size baritone um, so this means that it does have some versatility in, in, in how you string it up and what you want to play. Um, if you can get the correct strings, you can actually string it up like a, um, like a standard tuned uh, ukulele, you know, G, C, E, A, my dog has fleas. Um, or you can also get some baritone strings and tune it up D, G, B, E, like the top four strings on a guitar, which is what I did. Um, so, you know, you have some versatility in that respect. Let's talk action. Action, when I got this thing, stock action is terrible. Um, minimal grooves in the nut. Um, I had to file it down. I, so first off, I did the, I did the setup myself. Um, I, I have a little bit of experience. Um, if you have some needle files, you know, you can file grooves 
uh, in the nut yourself and save you 30 or 40 bucks uh, by you know taking it to your local music store and have them set it up for you um, you'll probably need a setup so whether or not you can do that yourself um, or if you choose to take the risk and do it yourself um, you may want to go that route and save yourself the cash um, if you don't and you do have to have it set up just be prepared that once you factor in the price of the setup along with the price of the instrument you're looking at a hundred dollars anyways and you may just want to bite the bullet and get the Kala Makala or you know other um, nicer entry level ukes for a hundred plus bucks so just keep that in mind um, let's talk sound so before I give you a little sound sample I want to show you the body now your eyes are not deceiving you this is a thin instrument um, I brought out my Kala concert for a comparison so check this out now check out the body on the Kala and check out the body on the baritone so this thing is roughly I'd say it's a good inch thinner than the Kala now that thing is is two is two uh, instrument sizes smaller than this. Um, so, I mean, the bottom line is I think the maker was trying to save money on materials um, by reducing an inch of the body. They were able to save some cash. I don't know how much you're actually going to save by by reducing the size of the body by an inch maybe you do maybe it's cost effective to do that but it doesn't really make sense to me um, but they did so it's a thinner body and that's going to produce a th I'm not gonna say a thinner sound it's gonna be a more punchier sound than a standard baritone puts out um, you're not gonna get that low-end uh, bassy uh, resonance that you get from a standard size baritone you're gonna get more of a punchy sound with this thing so uh, a little strumming a little finger picking for you So again, um, I think sound-wise it sounds good, um, but you know, just be prepared if you like a, a, a really bassy uh, baritone sound. Um, this may not be the instrument for you, but overall, it is a great. Um, I think it's a great affordable option to the other um, to the current entry-level uh, baritone ukuleles on the market. So again, this is a harmonia pear-shaped baritone. Uh, model number is UKL2, or excuse me, UKLL2, UKLL2. So um, hopefully this answers uh, any questions you might have on this instrument. And uh, yeah, I say, I, I say go for it. I think it's a cool instrument, nice, unique uh, shape and, you know, decent sound. So thanks again uh, for watching and uh, aloha.